Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Well, the so-called ceasefire has broken down. Ukraine a month ago voted not to join the EU. I predicted they'd go down in flame. You will assimilate or you will be destroyed, according to the EU. And, of course, the EU is run by the same globalists that run us, so it's all one big, disgusting, happy family. Paul Watson, who's in London covering this in detail, up on Infowars.com with videos and other reports. Bottom line, Paul, uh, how could this turn into a larger war, as many analysts are saying, and how do you think it's going to end? Well, the fact is that the Russian Deputy Prime Minister, Rogozin, back in December, said that if the... Uh, US continue to encircle Russia with these missile bases. They've got one scheduled to be operational in Romania by 2015, another in Poland by 2018. He said that if the US attacked Russia with conventional weapons, Russia would respond with nuclear weapons. So again, it's about condemning Russia amongst the international community. It's the same thing with the Sochi gay controversy. That was completely staged from the beginning uh, a fake outrage to make it look as if Russia was intolerant of gays when in fact, as I documented in my video, the US has harsher anti-gay laws than Russia. In fact, there's a gay club in Sochi itself, but they created this myth, they promulgated this myth that gays were being attacked and beaten up like Jews in Nazi Germany. Complete baloney. That kind of faded off over the past week or two. Now they're back again with this uh, Ukraine insurrection. And ag again, it's about isolating Russia geopolitically. It's about Russia, China, and Iran being the last bulwarks against the, the final completion of the new world order. That's right. People better understand it's not about England. It's not about the U.S. just because the empire is based here. It is a global corporate system where they're above the law, crony monopoly men, the enemy of everyone. Yeah. And I mean, China and Russia are arming to the teeth. It's, it's something that's very underplayed in the US media. But almost every day, I see articles about China having war games where they're targeting, you know, mock US warships. You had a Russian expert recently come out and say that America is going to be broke by 2020 and China will be able to defeat it militarily within the next decade or so. So China and Russia are arming like nothing you've ever seen since the Cold War. Uh, Obama seems to be scaling back with the U.S. military. So they've chosen this this faux revolution angle, and they're trying to achieve their geopolitical objectives that way. And it just remains to be seen how much Russia is going to put up with, you know, before something dastardly happens, because that's where it's heading. Well, it's really getting insane, and the fires that are raging right now are, are just unbelievable. And now it looks like the Ukrainian police are starting to shoot people have been shooting at them and uh, so the eu is freaking out the state department is freaking out and uh, they're certainly getting the civil war going they wanted paul how bad do you think it's going to get in ukraine um hopefully there's some kind of truce but there was a truce last night it lasted all of what two or three hours before the fighting began again so that again it shows you a lot of these protesters although many of them have genuine grievances again it's been hijacked they're being bussed in with backpacks and weapons. There are pictures of so-called protesters with sniper rifles with scopes on them, aiming them at police. And again, remember, McCain met with one of the opposition leaders from this fascist right party, Svoboda party, back in December. Then Newland comes along and says, we're going to invest five billion in the, the democratic institution of Ukraine to change the government. Now, that guy is going to be in power, probably, because in that leaked phone conversation with Newland and a top diplomat, he's one of the, quote, big three that they name who they're going to put into power. So it's, it's all admitted that it's a staged revolt for regime change. Yet Incredible. It's, it's all admitted. As a conspiracy. So would you say Ukraine staged by Obama, staged by Soros? I mean, what's the headline on this video? 
Oh, it's, it's definitely a similar situation to 2004. It's, it's regime change via the back door. All right, Paul Watson, thank you, folks. Big breaking news straight ahead. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose for a limited time we are offering 15 percent off super male vitality at infowarslife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality infowarslife.com my friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the game. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Well, if you just joined us, the FCC plans to police newsrooms. That's the Wall Street Journal reporting that. They're going to be coming into newsrooms, making sure you are politically correct. No more free speech if they have their way. Uh, obviously, a truce crumbles in Ukraine and Russia. No early elections. Uh, East Wing clashes. Don't worry, though. Ben Affleck's going to help promote an invasion of Africa uh, via the Coney 2012 fraud. And uh, the TSA is now confiscating aluminum foil of any type, saying that that might uh, be a bomb or something. And it's being reported the Lego movie is... Liberal anti-corporate propaganda. You know, I don't agree with that statement out of the Weekly Standard. Uh, you've got kind of a Republican idea uh, out there that, that any corporation is good. And anything a corporation does is good when they go in and basically act like a government and take over and consolidate power. I thought the movie was very libertarian about not having a surveillance state, uh, not having everything be under Agenda 21. But I guess it all depends on how you look at it. I can see kind of a leftist angle as well. Hey, I went and saw RoboCop last night. I need to do a review of the Lego movie. And I need to do a review of RoboCop.
because I saw RoboCop and I thought it was overall a pretty good action adventure movie, sci-fi compared to what's usually out there. And I thought it had a pretty good message overall as well. Uh, so uh, there you go. I don't have time to break it all down. I want to do it properly. I actually have time, all the time in the world if I want to. But I want to kind of write some notes up and think about it. Maybe do it for the nightly news tonight or tomorrow for the new RoboCop. But I thought it was a pretty positive, good message uh, overall. And I'm seeing that out of so many Hollywood movies right now. And the word is, again, that's what's resonating with the public. You're voting with your dollars. So more and more positive Positive messages are coming out. Speaking of DrudgeReport.com, it's just always got all the most interesting news. Uh, over on the left-hand side, we'll show folks uh, that link on screen. Uh, over on the left-hand side, the war on men. Ten ways masculinity is under attack. And this is an article I worked on with Paul uh, just because I thought it was important. And I'm glad it got some attention uh, because it breaks down just, just ten of the ways. We probably have a hundred of the ways. Uh, men are under attack, and men need to understand that, and so do women, uh, to see that it's not a man against woman thing. It's it's the globalists wanting to break up families and um, bring in total control. Incredibly uh, important. Uh, men are facing a full frontal assault on their rights, health, and culture like never before. The war on masculinity has never been so brutal, but it's not a war being waged by women. The attack is coming directly from the top as the establishment desperately attempts to emasculate and disempower men in order to force women uh, to be more dependent on the state, thereby enabling more power to be centralized and aiding the growth of big government. Here are 10 ways in which the states uh, has declared war on men and masculinity. We ought to open the phones up one day and have your take on the war on men, the next day the war on women, then the war on children, the war on the... Basically, there's a war on everything by the predator class. But that does not mean the entire system is evil. It means there are evil people in the system that use it for their social uh, engineering controls. Now, I've got a bunch of news I want to get into here uh, dealing with Obamacare and dealing with uh, some of the uh, other situations that are unfolding uh, with the surveillance grid and what's happening with the DHS uh, Panopticon spy grid. There's a bunch of it. We're going to get to all of it uh, here in just a moment. But first, I wanted to get to this report. Mother opens fire on home invaders to protect her family. And we have this out of ABC News uh, in Detroit, Michigan. And if you're a radio listener, I'll describe the video before we play it. So we're also simulcasting video, obviously, at InfoWarsNews.com right now or PrisonPlanet.tv. There's also the free feeds at InfoWars.com forward slash show. You want to actually see this. But three thugs in broad daylight, and they've been robbed before, come and start trying to kick the door down. And instead of just running or getting attacked like last time, they went and got a gun. So the woman fires it through the door at them. And one of them kind of acts like it grazes them. But one of the punk kids pulls the gun out, drops it, and wants to charge in and kill her because she dares fight back. I don't want to kill people, but I do want justice. Let me tell you, if you came to my house for kicking the door down, I would wait till you came in from a prone position, and I would shoot every one of you. And believe me, I would not miss. I'd load at least three rounds into each center of mass of each person. And if you're still, you know, acting like you caught or, or a threat, well, get ready. I'm going to go to another position and start aiming at your head. But you see, I, I see these videos because I scan the news every day and don't even play them here. And I've told the crew, and they're doing a better job of it, you will make me play these. So they were reminding me, hey, you said make you play this today. You hear this? Every day or two we see these where somebody in their business or their house runs people off or shoots them with a gun. And I don't ever play them, and it's the best propaganda we've got. The truth is the best propaganda for freedom. I admit it, I, I propagandize for truth. I propagandize for freedom. I'm an absolute sellout to freedom and truth. I'm absolutely into it. I'm a cult member, <laughs> okay? I'm real into it right now, I've got to be honest with you. I just love justice. I just love being good. I love trying to be honest, and uh, I love stomping bad people. Anyways, excuse me. And, and I see this footage, and I just think about this thug. She's shooting out the door. And this guy comes in wanting to kill her again. And I guess it might have even got shot because he jumps back and runs off. 
I can't tell exactly what the gun is. It looks like it might be one of those cheap 9mm rifles.